Greetings, today we will be telling you about the charges, which EU nationals will have to pay, in order to stay in the UK. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So today's video is about. Sadiq Khan disapproves EU nationals charges to stay in UK. In memo to Home Secretary, London's mayor mentions Windrush examples haven't been understood. Sadiq Khan has sent a letter to the government to call for modifications to its scheduled post-Brexit immigration policy, stating that obliging long-established EU residents to pay fees to live exhibited ministers had not picked up the message from the Windrush scandal. Sadiq Khan, the Labour mayor, in a letter to Sajid Javid the Home Secretary, stated the broader immigration policy, incorporating plots to limit immigration to individuals being paid over £30,000 per annum, would severely injure London's economy. Khan has been a criticizer of Theresa May's Brexit strategies. He also disagrees from formal Labour policy on the issue, backing up a second referendum. In the message, Khan stated that the immigration white paper, issued just before the end of the year 2018, was intolerable in content and tone. The promised new conversation on immigration is off to a poor start, he wrote. The mayor disapproved the £65 fee millions of EU citizens will be required to pay to apply for supposed settled status, comparing it to blunders that saw some associates of the Windrush generation aimed for immigration enforcement when they were unable to prove their status. Sadiq Khan mentioned. There are hundreds of thousands of young people who were born in the UK or, like the Windrush generation, brought here as young children, who are prevented from participating in the economic, social and political life of the UK by the prohibitive cost of applying for leave to remain or citizenship. While the previous Home Secretary rightly waived fees for the Windrush generation, the government clearly has not learned the wider lessons. There are many others still at risk from the same policies that led to the Windrush generation experiencing discrimination, destitution, and deportation. The Home Office now faces the unprecedented task of registering 3.4 million EU citizens resident in the UK. Many people will find this process inaccessible and unaffordable. As a matter of fairness, the government should waive the settled status fee for EU nationals and their families who were resident in the UK before the referendum took place. Sadiq Khan also disputed the fact that the idea to limit immigration to skilled individuals with £30,000 or more salaries simply won't allow London to continue to grow its economy and provide crucial public services. The mayor further stated that the legitimate shortage occupation list, which may aid individuals migrate to the United Kingdom to take positions that must to be occupied, should be enlarged to contribute the requirements of London, and perhaps devolved to the capital. The head of London first. A grouping of leading employers in the capital Jasmine Whitbread, exclaimed the verdict to lessen the minimum salary to the London living wage, presently £20,155, will avoid a recruitment cliff edge, keep the UK open to a range of skills, and ensure workers are decently paid. We hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video on your Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. Thanks for watching.